Welcome, friends, family, faculty members, other colleagues, the UTMB School of Medicine, class of 2019. It's truly an honor to be here with you today. Graduates, I know this day has been in your sights for a long time. Through persistence, determination, very hard work, you have earned your places here today. You should be very proud of this achievement. Your graduation is an occasion to celebrate your new transition from your lives as medical students to your lives as a physician. You're leaving UTMB with training that has prepared you with not only the technical knowledge and skills required to practice medicine, but also the patience, the fortitude, and everything you need to face the unique challenges that a career in medicine will bring. In a profession where you will touch so many lives, there will be undoubtedly be trying, difficult, troubling times. The, your strength of character, your passion for medicine, your compassion for your patients will overcome these critical and tough difficulties. I trust that your training here at UTMB has prepared you for any of the challenges that this future may bring. And you, the family and friends of these graduates, I hope you will continue to support them in this next phase of their training and remind them of their passion that got them started along this road. As for my last bit of advice to you, and a shout out to my palm group, I look to the teachings of Sir William Osler, who is widely remembered as the father of modern medicine, a pioneer in physician training, and one of the great scholars in academic medicine. When Dr. Osler was asked about what the secret of success in medicine was, he replied he didn't know, but he could spell it. W-O-R-K. He said that word was the master word in medicine. Although it's a little one, the master word looms large in its meaning. It's the open sesame to every portal, the great equalizer in the world, the true philosopher's stone, which transmutes all base metal into pure gold. So what does the master word mean to you, a physician just beginning his or her career here in the 21st century? Let's take a brief look at that. Dr. Osler's speech was published in January 1904, and more than a century later, despite many of the extraordinary achievements we've seen in medicine, I still believe his message of work still resonates today. Despite the introduction of new technologies, despite the amount of knowledge that has amassed over the last 100 plus years, the value of work in a medical professional's career has not changed. We have very sophisticated technologies. We have refined systems that no one in 1903 and 1904 could have ever imagined. But for all this time and effort, these developments may save a doctor you must still put in your time and effort to deliver outstanding care and compassionate care to the patients that you serve. You need to be thinking about it as you, some of you may embark on conducting your research that will help save their lives. Work is required there too. And all of you, we expect, will work toward elevating the true art of medicine. The hard work that doctors and scientists generations before you have done is what has made medicine what it is today. I suspect that your contributions as you move forward through work will do just the same. I appreciate that Osler reflects this word work as the great equalizer. Students who pursue medical careers come from many different backgrounds and do it for many different reasons. Some of you have come from families that have several generations of physicians among them. Others of you on the opposite end of the spectrum 
may have been the first in your family to graduate from high school, but I suspect all of you have come to value and understand Osler's master word in the pursuit of your dreams. Please remember Osler's master word as you reflect on your own accomplishments. I hope that as you reflect on your time spent at UTMB, you realize that being driven to keep working hard, that will be the answer to make you the best physician possible. It will also make it possible so that patients may receive the best care, so that your mentees may learn the best that they can learn, and be inspired so that discoveries can be made and so that medicine will continue to advance as it has for centuries. We expect you to go forward and really take the mantle of the legacy of UTMB to make sure that the compassion, the knowledge, the skills you gain continue for generations forward. We are confident that you will make us proud and give honor to your alma mater. So with that, congratulations to all of you for what you have achieved, and here's to your future.